Scorpios, welcome to my channel. Let's see what the next 72 hours has in store for you. Let me just lay the tarot cards down and then we will pull some oracle cards and I'll even pull some charms towards the end. So stay towards the end if you want to see the charms as well. But any information you need will be below. Welcome to my channel. Also, if you are completely new here and hopefully you decide to stick around. If so, definitely hit the subscribe button so you never miss a beat. And let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. What does the next 72 hours have in store for my Scorpios? So the overall theme, we have the Five of Wands. Career and Finance, we have the Three of Swords. Love, we have the Four of Pinnacles. The possible challenge, we have the page of swords, the advice for the next 72 hours, I have the page of wands, what you're not aware of, we have the ten of swords in reverse, what to avoid, we have the knight of pinnacles, and then the outcome for this time frame, we have the two of wands. Okay, and then let's also pull some Oracle cards too. So let's pull this one. So we have Spiritual Awareness. And we have Self-Esteem. All right, so let's jump straight into it. So during this time frame, Scorpios, you are gaining so much insight in terms of what your purpose is. If not purpose you're gaining so much insight in terms of who your spiritual self is or getting in, in tune with what your soul truly wants for you, not what the fleshly body wants, what your soul is yearning for. And there could be this spiritual journey that you're tapping into that's getting really, really intense. This could be like your third eye opening in a sense, or you just starting to have more awareness than previous to this time frame, that's coming from you looking deeper or going within and almost going in the mirror. And whenever people say that saying, looking in the mirror, it really means going in the mirror and addressing reality for what it is. Because the reality is when you go in the mirror, there are gonna be some hairs out of place. There is gonna possibly be something in your teeth. There's possibly going to be something that needs to be fixed or something to, um, address and when we're talking about going in the mirror this is we're talking about the spiritual mirror and us having to make those adjustments within our shadow self so that's what you guys are going to be doing during this time frame especially with self-esteem also being here as well the more that you're getting in tune with your spiritual self the more that your sense of self-esteem is going to grow This is deep already. Let's let's get deeper into this. So with the theme, we have the five of wands. So the theme is you finding your place. With the five of wands, you have certain people around you who could be in silent competition with you, or if not competition, could be distractions. You could have certain friends who, you know, want to crap on your ideas or may not see you know, the vision you may have for yourself, but they want to, you know, crap on your ideas or tell you that it's not worth it, for example, or having family members who maybe don't understand the fact that you're learning more about yourself spiritually and could be in high judgment, whatever this may be, you could have other people around you who you could start to see as either distraction or in silent competition in ways where you just don't quite understand where it's coming from. This could even be in the workplace where you have certain people trying to drag you into drama or certain people who are upset that you are doing the damn thing and good at your job and you're being picked for all these different things and now they want to discourage you from being you know, your best self. So the theme during this time frame is letting haters hate. <laughs> Letting haters hate and also being aware of who you surround yourself around. 
during the next 72 hours? Are you around people who are supportive or are you around people who are destructive? Okay, this is also a time where you want to be careful of other people's energy being projected onto you. So this could have a lot to do with having, you know, say, for instance, friends who are always in drama and then you get dragged into it because that's just how chaotic they could be. Now, moving beyond that, what I do have in regards to finances and career, we have the three of swords. So some of you could be focusing on too much of where you, you feel like you should be in a different position or in a different place within your career. And instead of learning from your mistakes, some of you could be just taking it in and taking it personally and just accepting defeat. When, again, I always say this failure is when you give up and when you decide to not learn from your mistakes, that's when you fail. So with this three of swords during the next 72 hours, you want to be careful of focusing on what opportunities you wish turned out differently or where you wish you were at by now, because this disappointment or focusing on that doesn't necessarily do anything. And for others of you too, you could be using your career as a way to be healing for you. If you have been heartbroken in regards to your love life, this could be, you know, the perfect time for you to create really good music or a really good time for you to create really good art for your business or for you to get that, you know, boost to really take things to the next level in your career. Now, speaking about love, let's talk about that. We have the four of pinnacles here. So you could be still holding on to a grudge a little bit or a romantic partner here could be holding on to a grudge. Take this reading how it applies. But there's still some sort of grudge that's at play here. Now, also with the Four of Pentacles, this could be you realizing that a love interest is holding you back. Like you dating them is completely sending you backward in terms of like your overall plans for life and you could be wanting to break free from this situation whether they're physically around or not physically around and you're just like still energetically holding on to it you could recognize how this is holding you back you could also see how a romantic interest here or a partner, they just seem more reserved in their energy or like stuck in their ways. This could be something that's a little bit annoying to you is that you could be wanting to fix things with your person, but they could just be so stuck in the way that they want to do things that they just aren't changing and the relationship itself isn't changing because of it. Now, the challenge with the Page of Swords, the challenge could be the fact that you're not really in communication with somebody who you would like to. The challenge could also be maybe you have an ex who checks your social media, checks up on what you have going on, or when you check up on an ex's social media, it could be certain things on there that you know are either triggering or you feel like they're talking about you or being petty. There could be some gossip also that's being spread about you, like untrue rumors or rumors in general. So be careful who you tell information to or who you're around who could have like a gossiping spirit. There also could just be certain questions during this time frame that you feel like need to be answered and you don't necessarily know where to get those answers from. Like, for instance, you may have like a really great business idea, but you don't know how to maybe execute it and where to get that information from and where to start. Now, going into the advice, let's let's talk about the advice with the page of wands. The advice here is to take initiative, take the motivation, the fuel, the energy that you have in whatever moments you may have it and apply it, use it. Okay, this is also taking a new approach. A lot of times, whenever we're stagnant in energy, it's because we're not taking a fresh new approach and we're also not allowing it to motivate us. Okay, allow hardships, allow adversity to be a motivator for you to say, you know what? Yes, I've experienced hardship, but I'm not going to let that stop me. If anything, that's just 
a sign that I should really keep going because I'm getting close. So this is a time to stay motivated and do things that motivate you. Do things that light a fire within you and that excite you. Take the time out to discover new things about yourself creatively as well. And this is doing little things. I'm not talking about making monumental life changes, but you know, maybe starting a new hobby, especially if you are someone who stays to yourself a lot or you don't really have hobbies outside of just responsibilities. Now, what you're not aware of, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, an older version of you is gone, okay? And that version of you is not going to come back. That version of you needed to go. And with that version of self, there were certain things that were attached to it, like people, experiences, trauma, a way of thinking that needed to go with that older version of self. So there is nothing for you to beat yourself up about in terms of, you know, the changes you've been experiencing and the process that you've been going through. It's all for good reasons. It's all going to make sense if it hasn't already to you at this moment. Mm, what you're not aware of, this is your redemption time. This is this is your time to shine. It's just what you're doing with it that's going to be important. Now, I have the Knight of Cups representing what you need to avoid. So what you need to avoid, this is taking your sweet time and dragging your process out in terms of starting things or being consistent. Some of you guys could kind of like start this thing, then give it two more weeks, and then add another thing to it and then like just kind of dragging the process out. So what you need to avoid is is doing that. Also being aware of how money is being spent. That's going to be really important during this time frame, especially if you are trying to save your money or trying to fix your financial situation, it's going to require you to really be diligent in how you're spending your money and how it's going out. Hmm. What you also need to avoid is just overall impatience. Like what you're trying to work towards in terms of your financial stability or your sense of stability as a whole is not going to be an overnight process thing. It is a Knight of Pentacles type of thing. But the Knight of Pentacles, I always say this, is the most stable pentacle card next to the Ten of Pentacles because it talks about a true foundation being built on hard work and over time so things can be corrected things can be tweaked things can be learned now let's get into the last card this is going to represent the outcome with the two of wands you are going to be making some sort of critical decision by the end of the 72 hours now this could be in regards to creative means you could have like two creative things that you're doing right now or interested in doing and you know that you have to, in some way, dedicate yourself to the journey of whatever you're trying to start. And it's having to figure out either which way to go about doing this or which creative thing that you're going to pursue. So you could be making some important decision around that. Uh, this could be different things, but there's something here that you're going to be taking action on after you make some sort of critical decision here that's going to essentially change the direction in which a business flows, your life flows in general, how a relationship goes, if this is a relationship situation. Okay, but let's pull some charms. I'm just gonna pull a couple, get some final messages for what's going on. Okay, so yeah, this could be a perfect time for you guys to be job hunting. You could have a lot of good luck, good fortune come your way around job hunting. So definitely make sure that you are doing your part in terms of applying, looking if that is something that you're, you're wanting as of right now. I'm also seeing a strong presence of your spiritual team being around you. You could see or feel, see clear as day that you have a spiritual team protecting you and guiding you during this time frame. And this could manifest through 
synchronicities, through numbers, um, certain songs playing at certain times. Just kind of pay attention. Also pay attention to your dreams is another message. Mm, you guys are definitely having to make some sort of decision here and it's going to it's going to influence what trajectory your life goes into. So you want to be aware of what you choose. Now, mm, now for a lot of you, when I say that, that kind of sounds scary, <laughs> but I, I really mean it in that sense. Um, but it's Im imperative that you're making the decision based off of where you want to see yourself in the long term what type of person you want to be in the next couple of years in what you decide to do with your like career, if this is that type of decision or with a relationship. Do you see yourself being with this person for years or do you want that to be the case and you know that there's certain things that this person may need to work on? That is what's going to have to be your thought process. You being objective when it comes to making this decision that you have to make. Also see that you guys could be wanting to change up your diet or certain eating habits that you have. And in you doing so, this could really benefit you health-wise. Okay, but these are just some of the things that I'm seeing. I hope that this was helpful and they give you insight for the next 72 hours. And I will see you in the next one.